Now we are proud to kick off this event with Silverman and the Majestic Theatre Condominium Association. Please welcome to the Zoom curator Kristen DeAngelis and artist Katya Fulfenko. Great. Thank you so much, Courtney. I'm Kristen DeAngelis. I am the curator for the Silverman Building. And I just want to say I am thrilled that we're having this virtual JC Fridays, the first. Um, it's just so exciting. And we really thank our Art House Productions for putting this on. So um, uh, a little bit about Katya. She is our artist that is actually at the Majestic Theater Condominiums right now. And her show is called Fragments and Reassemblage. It's a beautiful show. She's going to talk to you about her work and I hope you enjoy it. We can't, I should say, we can't see it right now in person, but hopefully, fingers crossed, soon and we will be sure to let you know. So please welcome Katya Bobenko. Great. Hi. Uh, so I'm Katya and I'm a mixed media artist with a background in um, textile design and printmaking. And um, Right now, I'm talk, going to talk about my work that's at the Majestic. I make assemblages uh, made out of painted fragments. They are um, inspired by bits of rocks and shells, things that are eroded. I really enjoy the beauty of the worn edges and cracks and things like that. Also, the fact that they have a history that they used to belong to something larger. So my assemblages are reassemblages of all these fragments. I'm creating something um, new and whole and sort of healing by putting these pieces together. And I love color. I use color themes in my work. I use painted silk, acrylic, wood, um, clay, beads, sewing, both hand embroidery and machine stitching. Um, and I cut the wood with a jigsaw and I make all the pieces and assemble them. Here I'm going to hold up this little one so you can see kind of up close. I like to layer them so that they have a sculptural quality. I like to think of these as objects. And here you could see some beads. This is wood, painted silk, painted canvas. Um, and then I'll go back into it after they're attached to the, the substrate. And I'll add more details, sometimes scratching into it. So um, here's another one that's in progress. And it doesn't have a square or rectangular substrate. This is foam core. And I've got the pieces on there. This is silk, this is wood, um, some paper, and they're not glued down yet. I just sort of rearrange them until I like the way they look. And so it's sort of like a big fragment on its own. I also make fiber jewelry. So this is sort of like a mini assemblage. It's a pin and it's stuffed like a little pillow um, behind me, you can see a work in progress. I've been working more with soft materials and um, that is painted canvas and it's stitched and it has some wool felting and it's gonna have some beads. And I'm thinking of making a giant three-dimensional one out of that, not a wall sculpture, but it's up there so I can look at it and get some more ideas. Um, so, I guess we have some slides we could look at and I could talk about some of the work that's at the show. So here are some pieces from the Majestic show and I hope you can get a chance to go see them. It's going to be extended through the summer so maybe there'll be an opportunity for people to go. Um, the top left one has some clay in it, which is the first time I've used clay in my assemblages. And that was really fun to get away from just the cutting of the wood. Um, and the one below it is very non rectangular, which is what I've been loving doing, getting away from that rectangular background. And um, the one on the right is sort of the, the hero piece of the show that started everything off. 
So um, I really hope that you get to see them because it's really hard to capture in a photograph how sculptural they are. But that's what I've been working on. That's really great. I love, um, we did get a, a nice view of that 3D, but mm -hmm. Katya is right. They're absolutely, they just jump off the wall at you and they're really so beautiful with the color. So we'll definitely keep you posted, everybody, um, when you can see it in person. For a virtual tour, you can go to, I have it, we have it on the screen right now, deangelisart.com. If there's any questions, you can reach out to Art House and we can get in contact and let you know more about Katya and her work. Thank you so much tonight. Thank you.